Up next on UMass Sports Insider, it's been a memorable start to the hoop season. With a much improved big man leading the charge, we'll introduce you to the man in the middle of the Minutemen's early season success. Plus, we'll look back at some big wins over the years in a city that is the birthplace of basketball and of Coach Kellogg. And we hit the ice to teach you some new skills with the UMass Netminder taking us between the pipes to show off his talent. Skating quickly towards the holidays. UMass Sports Insider, ready, set, go. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union, Mafre Commerce Insurance, and Coca-Cola. With an undefeated first month of the season, the UMass Hoop Squad did something it hadn't accomplished in 15 years, move into the national polls. It was the program's first ranking since 1998, and hopefully only the start of many accolades to follow this season. Hi and welcome, I'm Josh Mauer. Coming up, we'll take you into the community with the men's basketball team and you'll find out what some UMass athletes think is the worst part about being a freshman. But let's start with one of the biggest reasons for UMass's great start on the hardwood, literally and figuratively. Time to meet a soft-spoken big man from Florida who's turning heads nationally with a great start to his junior season. With more, here's Cody Cruchel in the bunker with Caddy Lalane. Caddy Lalane labels his first two years as a Minuteman as frustrating. Two seasons where the big man showed glimpses of greatness, but two seasons in which nagging injuries prevented him from becoming a dominant force. There would be so much stuff I, like, I feel like I could do more, but my body just wouldn't let me do it. So on um, the course, so sometimes after games, I'll be frustrated. You know, Even if I played good, but I feel like I did more. A stress fracture in his foot derailed Lalane's freshman season after only 14 games. Then surgery on that same foot during the following offseason kept him from ever feeling 100% healthy. I wasn't in shape and I was, and I was staying consistent, especially last year and the year before. Just kind of, you know, aggravated me a little bit. Despite the inconsistency, Lalane's potential caught the eye of former UMass great big man Lou Rowe, who recently returned to campus as a member of the team's support staff. Rowe felt that through two seasons, Lalane had only scratched the surface of his talent. Caddy doesn't understand. Uh, right now what his whole capabilities are and um, he can really really be something special here he's just naturally a teddy bear on the inside not so so much aggressive like other other players but uh, he just had the natural given ability to be great finally feeling healthy Lalane went to work last summer undergoing a rigorous daily training regiment with his teammates so we'll eat breakfast drink our protein come down work out at eight and they're like two hours, but we will make sure we challenge each other to go hard every single time. Like we talked about, like we're gonna make sure we hold each other accountable. Diet was a big deal for me too, like you know, making sure I keep my body right and toned up. With Lalane in the best shape of his career entering this season, his coaches and teammates wondered if a breakthrough season was on the horizon. He's the guy that a lot of people are uh, wondering what he's gonna do. Is he a, a nine and seven guy, a 12 and 10 guy? And I, I think the sky's the limit for Caddy, and now he just has to go to prove, prove to everybody um, every night that he's one of the top big guys in our conference. Every day in practice, I'll come in, they'll say something to me about, you know, I got to be the best, I got like, to dominate this, that guy dominate. It wasn't only the coaches, it was also every, everybody on the team was telling me that. The early results have been eye-popping. Lalane averaged a double-double through the season's first month and twice was named the Atlantic 10 Player of the Week. He ranked among the nation's rebounding leaders in November. I just gotta try to go get every ball. Like, you gotta just be relentless to me. Like, I feel like um, if you wanna get it, you will get it. You don't have to jump the highest, you don't have to be the biggest, you don't have to be strong. I think if you really wanna go get the rebound, you'll go get it. You just gotta have the will to do it. He's starting to realize his true capabilities in, in playing against these top notch teams that we've been playing, the competition that really pushes him. Uh, to bring out, um, bring out his best. With success has come increased confidence, and the big man now sees himself as an integral part of UMass's offensive attack. I could go to the middle, to the baseline, uh, drop step, whatever. So I feel like after I get him right there and I see the help defense probably, you know, worrying more about safe putt or putt or set in the corner, they're worrying about him. So I feel like right there, I got to get the ball right there. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel. 
Thank you, Cody. It's now time to show you from a coach's perspective why Caddy has been so successful at the beginning of this season. So let's send it into the video room. Here's head coach Derek Kellogg with Coke Chalk Talk. Well, that's some great stuff from my man, Caddy Lillane. We've all seen how much he's grown, um, not only in the past year, but since he's been here. And once again, we come back to my loyal, trusty assistant, The Brain, with some great Caddy Lillane highlights uh, from our tournament down in Charleston. The one thing I think he did a, a great job of, and he's continuing to do, is offensive rebound. You see Caddy really working the boards against Nebraska here and really giving us an extra boost, extra possessions on the offensive end of the, uh, of the uh, basketball floor. Once again, great drive by uh, Trey Davis, Caddy Lane around the rim. Not only is he finishing this year, but he's finishing with authority. He's making strong moves and he's getting a lot of and one plays, getting us to the free throw line and really finishing around the rim. What Caddy's been able to do is give us an inside out presence by uh, catching the ball around the rim and finishing. We're doing a lot of high low stuff. And one thing that's been great is the defenses are really paying a lot of attention to Chaz Williams. Caddy's been able to use that, getting the open areas of the floor, catching alley-oop dunks as you saw there, getting offensive rebounds and putbacks off Chaz's penetration. Lastly, tough around the rim. Tough around the rim against double teams. And what he's doing a great job of is defensively, he's our last line of defense in our press by blocking, cleaning up messes, and really being that big guy that we've lacked. Caddy Lillane has really improved. He's been our, our, our anchor in the middle on both ends of the floor, and I'm excited to watch him grow and continue to get better. Thanks, Coach. Good to have the brain back in action. Well, we switch gears now to hockey for our ever-popular how-to segment. Today, the team's goaltender, Steve Mastelers, is going to teach us some of the tricks of his trade. Presented by Moffray Commerce Insurance, here's Between the Lines with Steve. Steve Mastelers, a junior on the hockey team here. Uh, I'm going to take you through some of my uh, pregame warm-up drills I do as a goalie, and uh, I'll explain what, uh, what's important about them. First drill I'm going to show you is a reaction drill, uh, work with my hands. I do this before every game. It's just uh, shots of my glove and blocker. What I'm doing is working on my tracking. So I go five shots of my glove, five shots of my blocker, just watching the puck all the way to my glove and blocker and watch out of the rebound if there is one. All right, here's a uh, reaction drill to the hands. See what Oleg has. Nice shot. The second drill I go through uh, on a daily basis in practice is breakaways. You know, uh, I like to be on top of my uh, crease when it starts and then work back, following the puck with my stick and uh, wherever the deep may go from there. All right, here are the breakaways. You want to make sure you start out outside of your crease so you can be aggressive on the shot. And as it comes in, you want to back up and follow the puck from there. Big save. The last drill I'm going to do and explain to you guys is uh, backdoor plays. It starts with a guy on my right making a pass on my left uh, to a guy with an open net. Uh, it's more of a desperation type save where you either use a split or uh, you're falling forward on your belly to make a save uh, with your glove. Thanks for watching. Those are uh, some drills that you can work on in practice or uh, before a game to get ready and uh, get a uh, win out there in the game. Thanks for teaching us, Steve. The hockey team has road games at Notre Dame and Colgate before a home contest Tuesday, December 17th, leading into their holiday break. Well, it's time for us to take a break for the first time, but don't you go far away. On the other side, we're showing you how playing in his hometown of Springfield has always brought big time results for Coach Kellogg. A trip down memory lane is next. Don't go away. Yeah, we're just waiting on the appraisal to come in. Just give me a minute, man. Yeah, we'll get that back in a week or so. Have a great day. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. <laughs> How's the orange juice, Adam? Refreshing. It's Minute Man made. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. You are, you are, you are. UMass! Good, 
What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfast, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. It's time for Mohegan Sun Instant Replay. You're looking at highlights from UMass's overtime victory against Elon last season at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield. With UMass taking on national power BYU in that building this month, we thought we'd look back at several successful games in that venue over the past few decades. Derek Kellogg hails from Springfield and has enjoyed some great home cooking heading back to his roots, both as a point guard for the Minutemen in the 1990s and as the team's head coach for the past six years. So let's go back to some of his biggest moments in his hometown arena. For an up and down kind of game, and that's the position we're in. Webster won't fall for Damon Patterson. William Herndon. Anton Brown pierces through the press and beat oh. Harper Williams. <laughs> Jade's a back to Jade. Time's gone past, huh? Controls the tip, oh, a slam dunk. What a way to start, and a little slam jam man. Robinson hit the floor, Camby the slam dunk. Very quick to the basketball, Camby with a little jam off the offensive board. They are really playing super basketball, Massachusetts. And there's Lewis Rowe finalizing, finishing the play. They've got the double team, Kellogg, six seconds left till halftime. Bright, fall away, short, Rowe at the buzzer. Why not? Star of stars in the first half. He should go in halftime with Uncle Mo on his side. What a brilliant performance by Lou Rowe. Lowry on the other end. Gaffney answers with a block of his own. Up ahead to Gurley. Got the dunk in hard. We'll take a look at that number. 25% shooting for the Flyers. Gaffney with a steal. He'll finish with authority. Pass wins it. 75-62 over the University of Dayton. Continues to make TCU turn over. Back door, Riley. Oh, and he ducks it home on the right baseline. Riley from Gary Correa. Here comes Riley to Putney. Back to Riley. And he throws it a right-handed dunk. And an exclamation mark on a track beat for UMass right now. The littlest guy on the court, Williams to Riley for three in the lead. He bangs it home. His sixth. Of the night at the top 30 feet from the hoop puts it on the deck gets fouled the shot middle drop counted for Chaz Williams we'll see if they go for three in the tire a quick two Himes to the rim had it blocked by Sean Carter what a block and Sean Carter made the defensive play of the night coming into the game against BYU this year the Minutemen were six and one in games played at the Mass Mutual Center under Kellogg well, earlier this month, UMass headed to Ypsilanti, Michigan to play its first game as a ranked team in 15 years and its first true road contest of the season at Eastern Michigan. Let's take a look back at the highlights. Game clock down to four. Williams around the Lane screen. Gets it off to Trey Davis. One more. Putney, a right corner three at the buzzer. And he drilled it. What a big shot by Putney. 
Trey Davis has the ball. Hop step into the lane. Nice pass underneath for Caddy Lalane. He catches, goes up and slam dunks it home. Combs pulls up at the top for three in the tie. Missed it off to the left. And a rebound by Carter for UMass. Sampson up to Chaz Williams. He lobs it. Alley oop Putney. Catch and a dunk as he's fouled. A one handed catch and a tomahawk alley oop finish. It's an unbelievable play by Putney. Trey Davis for three, he's knocked down, and the shot swishes in. UMass takes a 10-point lead with 154 left. The UMass non-conference schedule still features very difficult challenges later this month with games against Ohio University, Florida State, and Providence all before the new year. Time for us to break for just a few moments, but when we come back, we're returning to Springfield, this time to the famous Basketball Hall of Fame, and we'll see how the Minutemen helped spread some knowledge to area children this past summer. It's serving the community, right on the other side. The gang always plays double zero just once. And sometimes, Absolutely nothing becomes absolutely everything. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hotel UMass was voted the best hotel in Amherst. Situated on the beautiful University of Massachusetts campus, Hotel UMass is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, Hotel UMass has it all. A forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Mafre Commerce Insurance. The first name in insurance for more than one million customers. Focused on taking care of you and your family. Providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Mafre Commerce Insurance. UMass takes on a Big East opponent, Providence, at the Mullen Center. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back to the show. Giving back to the community has always been a big part of UMass athletics. This past summer, the UMass Hoops team went to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame and imparted some of their skill on area youngsters. It was part of the Hall of Fame's summer clinics and our cameras were there. Let's take a look as UMass Catering presents Serving the Community. Today we just came out to work with the Hall of Fame, put the little kids to a clinic and teach them some things we know about basketball. Two, one, beep. Oh. We had a clinic with UMass, which was fantastic, teaching the kids basic fundamentals of basketball. Uh, we usually have something during the whole month of July and August. Uh, legends come here, they do Q&A, they do autographs. 
It's a wonderful thing for kids as well as grown-ups. My favorite drill had to be the defensive slaps because uh, they had to be loud and intense. So it was pretty good. This way. Now this way. <laughs> now this way. Jump, 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 jump. Hi, 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 hi. I have four little brothers at home, so I, I just I love being around kids and stuff, and they bring a smile to my face. So it, it's really good. I mean, I love it as much as I can do. Honestly, the first time I was here, I mean, I just, I was looking around the whole time. I didn't know, you know, the camps and stuff. I was, I was trying to pay attention to the kids and trying to get this view. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I actually went here with my uh, mom and my brother. I went here just on our own, no camps or anything. So, I mean, it's, it's really cool. We had 1,300 here Friday, 1,400 here Saturday. On average, we may get five to six hundred people per group. Some days we may get uh, 300 to a group, but it's always busy. Just getting some good work in with the kids, you know, uh, spending time with them. Um, ball handling drills, defensive drills, just getting them ready to, to, get, to play when they get ready to play. Yeah. I was at Memphis Zone, um, they had a lot of camps, so I went with my cousin, played there. Um, so I went in, they got some drills in with us, so some of the things that they taught us, I did here with them. Um, so they seemed like they enjoyed it, so when we come back next time, it'll be even more fun. Other famous basketball players who participated in summer clinics at the Hall of Fame included Gary Payton, Rick Barry, Muggsy Bogues, and the great Daryl Dawkins. Hi, I'm Pat Kiley from the UMass hockey team. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we get back, we're going to learn about some of the things that my teammates think are the worst thing about being a freshman. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfasts, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. The UMass license plate says it all. You don't have to be a sports star. Any UMass fan can be a star with a UMass license plate. Ride with UMass pride. Yeah. Get all the details at UMassAlumni.com. All proceeds benefit UMass. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. UMass basketball five-game mini plans are on sale now. Pick any five games with packages starting as low as $60. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. 
Welcome back. We're glad you stuck around and now you get rewarded with the Alden Credit Union lighter side. Hey, it's never easy transitioning to college, learning how to live away from home, do your own laundry, etc. Perhaps it's even harder though as a Division I athlete. So today we ask some Minute Men and Minute Women, what's the worst part about being a freshman? Let's check out and see what they said. Not having a ride. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big campus and not being able to grab food, not you know, jogging everywhere, that's the worst part. I think the worst part about being a freshman is you don't know anything. Um, so you kind of looking up to the, uh, the, you know, the upperclassmen for some type of direction. Definitely the uh, academic portion of it, uh, the eight hours of study hall, all the gen eds that you had to take. Not knowing where to go, you know, you're walking around, asking a bunch of people where buildings are, so you're kind of confused. The dining hall food, you know, you didn't really get much of anything else except the, I mean, the dining hall food's good, but just at the same time, you kind of miss, uh, kind of miss the home cooking. So how did you get around? Jogging borrow bikes. <laughs> Jogging rotate bikes. We had a bike system. It's funny because now I'm a senior, I can see it with so many of the freshmen we have. Like if I just wanted to be silly one day, I can just tell them anything and I know they'll follow. Is it harder to be a freshman as an athlete than as a non-athlete? Um, yes, for sure. You're getting used to being in college and playing at a high, higher level. It's 10 times worse. How many times do you think you got lost trying to find a classroom? Oh, I know freshman year, it took me about 45 minutes to find my first class. First day? First day. <laughs> Couldn't find the class. I had to get my iPhone out and look up where the class was. How many pounds of the freshman 15 did you gain from the dining hall food? Uh, well, with coaches' practices, not too much weight was gained, actually. <laughs> did you get a car now? Yeah, I had to get a car. I'm off campus now. There's no way. You, once that wind comes in, once winter comes in, I'm, I'm not walking no more. And it's like a whole new world for you, huh? whole new world, no walking. <laughs> <laughs> so you got all these rookies right now. What, what's the silliest thing that you've pulled so far? Y'all can't tell them right now, but they don't even know, uh, you know, most of the good snacks on the Busby towards the back, so they still stay up in the front. What was the worst part about being a freshman as a player? Having to sit at the front of the bus or just little things like that. So you had to go to the front of the bus instead of the back of the yes, bus? Yes, we couldn't sit with the cool kids. <laughs> As a senior, does it feel like everything was silly back then that you couldn't find the classes? Yeah, definitely. You know, I know most of the buildings right off the top of my head. I know some people come up to me and ask me like strangers. I would crush both three, average three plates when I'd go though. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You getting like the animal crackers? No, I get the uh, fruit snacks, the gushers, you know. Keep it on that low though, keep it on the low. Yeah, it's good to be a senior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could be the mentor now. Right, yeah, yeah. the better. better you, show, you show all the freshmen now how to get to their classes? Right. Yeah, I can tell them it's next to this building, in between this building, you know. It's kind of like a road map. People would be jealous of that. Yeah. I was like in heaven when I first got here with the, the dining halls actually, you know, all the foods, so I mean. This might sound like the best part about being a freshman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I switched the question up on you a little bit there. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Well, that'll do it for our show. Our next new edition of UMass Sports Insider debuts on Saturday, December the 21st. It's our holiday special, so don't miss Coach Kellogg dressing up like Santa Claus. Until then, I'm Josh Maurer. Have a great rest of your weekend. UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union, Mafre Commerce Insurance, and Coca-Cola.